This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment, educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, or like read to all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market. We can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors pushed AMC down to all time lows yesterday. But the price of AMC means absolutely nothing to me because I know that the price of AMC is not controlled by supply and demand, it's not controlled by fundamentals, it's not controlled by anything that has to do with how the United States stock market is supposed to run. It is controlled by criminality and the SEC's compliance with these bad actors. That's what controls the price of AMC. Nobody's selling their shares. Uh, they don't have any real shares to short. They just involved in criminal activity every single day in order to manipulate the price because they know there are no real consequences if they get caught. Anyway, the bottom line is this. AMC volume allegedly is 13,139,235 shares. I mean, these numbers mean absolutely nothing to me because, I, like I tell you guys every day, we don't see what's going on in the dog pools. Okay, we have no idea what's really going on. We don't know. We have no idea what the real volume is. What they report to us is, is, is for gazy. It's for gazy. It is meant to push whatever narrative they want, but there is no proof whatsoever that these numbers are real. Then the calls options, you got 1,263 calls in the money. At $5, you'll have another 13,645 calls in the money. These numbers mean absolutely nothing to me also because can they ever exercise these contracts? No, no. And like I tell every day, this is a one-sided contract that would not be allowed in any other industry. How can you have people enter the contract where one side of the contract can't perform their part of the contract? They can't. They can't because if every single contract, core, cop, core contract was exercised, there would be no shares to give the bias of the core contracts. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's absolutely crazy what they allow to go on in our stock market. And then here's the thing that, that started yesterday. Since the market closed, there's zero shares available to short. And, and that's a little weird. And it's the second day in a row this has happened. Now I'm wondering if they are deliberately not turning over that information to Stanko Tracker because they never, ever spend the whole day not moving shares, not reporting shares available to borrow or counterfeit shares available to borrow. They usually do that after market, pre market, but for the last two days, they have given up nothing. It's at zero. And I believe it's because of the new reporting requirements. I could be wrong. And if you guys got a different explanation as to why there are no shares available to borrow in the after market or in pre market, please let me know in the comments. Okay, 41.6% of volume was shorted shares. Like, you know, guys, it, it means absolutely nothing. That means about 5 million of the volume was shorted shares. I personally would love to see the chain of custody of these shares, the blue sheets of these shares that they've been shorting into the market. I would like to see where they originated from. And more than likely, a market maker's computer or they taking old shares and just relending them over and over and over again, knowing they could never, ever deliver. And the FTD, they just shipped them 
overseas. Bottom line is this. Until the liquidity runs out, they will continue to engage in this criminal behavior because there are no real consequences if they are caught. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that it's at zero because of the new regulations? And, or are they just refusing to report overnight data to Stonker Tracker? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.